Hello everybody, this is Danilo Cuellar from the Non-Aggression Parenting Podcast. And I want to talk about something that my six-year-old son, uh, oh by the way, I, I homeschool my two kids, uh, I have a six-year-old and a four-year-old. I was at a, uh, I was dropping my daughter at ballet, she loved ballet, my four-year-old. And um, we were inside the ballet studio, and my son saw some writing on the, the glass window, and he was trying to sound out the letters of the words by himself. I didn't tell him to do that. And uh, when I saw him doing that, I quickly took out my phone and took a video. And it reminded me of a common complaint or fear of parents who might be considering homeschooling or unschooling, which is if they don't go to school, if they don't go to government school, how will they learn how to read and write? This assumes a few things. Number one, it assumes that kids learn valuable things in government school, and it also assumes kids do not have a natural inborn desire to learn of themselves. It is assuming that what occurs in government school can be called learning. Now, according to my understanding of the definition of learning, it is what happens when you are interested or passionate or curious about a topic. It is an entirely voluntary act. If you are forced to read or memorize particular facts that you are not interested, this cannot be called learning. Rather, this is more appropriate to be called indoctrination. It is done against the person's will. Learning is, is done out of love. When you enjoy something and you are fascinated and intrigued by it, you by definition are learning. And it harkens back to an article that I wrote on my website called Learning and Living are Inseparable. There is no way that you can learn, that you can live a fulfilled and passionate life without learning. There is no way. Not only is it untrue that the only learning occurs in institutions with a room and desks and chairs and books and a teacher, but I would go so far as to say that hinders the act of learning destroys the love of knowledge, of acquiring knowledge. And so when I saw my son attempting to read this sign, I had a great swell of hope and pride because it just demonstrated to me that my son does want to learn. Of course he wants to learn. Every child wants to learn. Curiosity is the default mechanism that we are all born with. Curiosity is the first education, the first teacher. And what will be relevant to our future is by definition what we are curious today. Skills that are needed and that will be relevant to our lives are entirely dependent on the things that we focus our energies because we are interested in them today. So I have no fear that my son or my daughter will not know the basic building blocks or skills that are needed to function in society. They are surrounded by words everywhere, not only in books, but in video games, in billboards, in magazines, on the windows of businesses. They are surrounded by words. And it is only natural and understandable that they will want to understand these words. 
because they see that other people understand them and that you cannot for the rest of your life be asking somebody what does this say just as kids have an inborn desire for curiosity I think they also have an inborn desire for independence and self-reliance I think entrepreneurship is a natural outgrowth of a free and uninhibited childhood a child does not want to be dependent a child wants to be independent the very fact that they resist many times rules imposed upon them by strict parents illustrates they want to be their own person they want to assert their independence and their self-ownership at, at as early an age as possible and I think it is our job as peaceful parents as homeschooling parents to encourage that path towards independence and entrepreneurship so it is not the specific bits of information or knowledge that is important for us to teach them no what's important for us is to kindle and encourage and feed that flame of curiosity and intrigue that they have with the world because when they have curiosity they can go anywhere and they will be a success they will become an autodidact they will teach themselves what they need to learn to thrive in the environment they will find themselves in to think that there is a certain portion of information that needs to be force-fed children against their will is to think that they do not possess self-ownership that they don't have the capacity to make their own decisions to decide what they want to do with their lives we are telling them that they are not people they are on the way to becoming people they're on probation and this is absurd as early as possible I think we should encourage our children to make their own decisions and to understand the consequences of their decisions and in that way we can help them to become independent and self-reliant at as early an age as possible this is far more important than any bit of information we can teach them it doesn't matter what that information is if you want to teach your children something demonstrate how much you love it show them your passion for that information and if they if they are able to pick up on that and it resonates with them they will want to learn it and they will ask you and that's a beautiful thing respect the self-ownership of your children because they will be the future inhabitants of the world of tomorrow and the way that you want to see that world is the way you should treat your children today treat your children with care with love and respect thank you very much for listening this is Danilo Cuellar from the non-aggression parenting podcast have a magnificent day